can't be sleeping I keep on waking Is that the woman next to me? Hello dear listeners and welcome to Algerian Youth Voices I am Murad from Algiers and today I have brought to you a topic that may interest many of you since we received some messages and emails asking us to talk about studying abroad Blame it on the night. Don't blame it on the But what is the best solution to make that happen when we cannot afford it? Well, I have a secret for you. It's called scholarship. For this occasion, we have a special guest, Amin Bounouraz. Amin received a Fulbright scholarship to pursue a master degree of management at Duke University, one of the top-ranked universities in the US and even in the world. Hello Amin and welcome to AYV Algiers. We are honored to have you here with us today. Good. Uh, very glad to be on Algerian Youth Voices. Thank you for inviting me. Talking about applying to Fulbright Scholarship, what are the requirements for Algerian students and how is the process of application? The application package comprises of first the standardized tests that are the GRE and the TOEFL. The second thing is your essays, which are the uh, statement of purpose and the, the personal statement. Third thing is your resume, your transcripts, and all the information related to your extracurricular activities. The fourth thing it would be the recommendation letters. I took a lot of time, I took about a year to really prepare well for my exams really take time to introspect and write um, thoughtful uh, statements, personal statements and statement of purpose, have them reviewed by, by friends and people that I trust. And then I applied and I did my interview and a few days after that I got an email um, saying that I was a nominee. Amin waited a whole year after his interview, a period in which the Fulbright office applies to universities on behalf of the student. So that's the waiting part, which is the hardest. It was a very difficult time, especially there are things that you have no control over. But uh, thankfully, alhamdulillah, I was able to get a, a scholarship and I went to Duke University and I came back. Saying is one thing, but doing is a whole other thing. Everything wasn't that easy on Amin. He faced many difficulties during his application process and even when he arrived in the United States. Um, so struggles during the application process, definitely, because when you're applying to schools from Algeria, you don't really have a lot of support because honestly, I didn't know a lot of people who went to study in the United States and the people who do not really share their experience. So you don't really find someone to talk to that has been there. The good thing is I had already been to the United States twice, once on an exchange program and once after winning uh, a competition. So I didn't really have the cultural shock. But the main struggle that I faced was really how demanding the education system in the United States is. You know, every lecturer, you're expected to do your readings, do your homework, read in general about 80 to 100 pages. It's absolutely crazy the amount of work and the amount of expectations from your professor. And um, what pushed you to, to continue through all the, the two years of um, your master's there? Um, actually, I had to do my master's in a year. Typically, people do it in a year and a half. But since my funding was only for a year, I had to take more classes in, and finish it into a year. What pushed me is pretty much simple. Um, I did not move from Algeria to the United States. I did not cross all that distance and I, I was not away from my family just to, you know, be a tourist. If I went there, I wanted to, to get everything. So I was, I was pretty much determined to make the most out of my experience because I know I was in a, a very lucky spot. I know that a lot of people applied to scholarships to go to the United States and they don't get them. So I knew that I was very fortunate and I knew that this was one experience that could change my life. And th that one year of my, of my life could completely change the course of it. After completing his education, Amin returned to Algeria and he is trying to share as much as he can from his experience with the others. What piece of advice can you give to uh, the listeners who want to travel abroad and study there? 
I actually did write a very long post on Facebook and on LinkedIn the detailing all the application process. So I would advise you to go check it out. Start really early, at least two years, you know, one to two years before your intended date of application. Because uh, the better grades you get in these standardized uh, exams and the better essays you have, the better chances you have. You don't want to go to the United States and do a, you know, a top 300 school. You want to go to the United States and do things like Harvard, Yale, MIT. Shoot for the big ones. Shoot, shoot for being on the top 10, on the top 25, because that's completely possible. But you just gotta you know, be very prepared, know what, what is expected of you, and work really hard to meet that, uh, these expectations. Ask for help. Reach out to people who have been there. Uh, be annoying. <laughs> Uh, in, in asking for advice because I believe it's the responsibility of everyone who has been through the program to help you and guide you um, to the uh, right direction. Um, and my last piece of advice would be enjoy the process. After completing his master's degree, I mean graduated with honors from Duke University, he was also chosen to be the shining star of the program a distinction that allowed him to be designated to deliver the graduation speech, an honor that is quite special, which made his year a total success. Into the streets we're coming down, but we never sleep, never get tired. It was AYV Azir's reporting Amin's story. For more podcasts, Stay tuned to our Facebook page. Never back down, shoot down the skyline, watch it on prime time. Turn up the love now, listen up now, turn up the love.